Charlie, we are back. Back episode two of the Belly Up podcast. Yeah, is it Belly Up podcast? Or I don't know. Up don't, did you, could you sense my hesitation there? Yeah. I, I don't, you I, said Belly Up last night at the stand up show. Yeah. And I was like, did that's I? not correct. But then I'm like, you know, Belly Up belly doesn't up. sound too bad. Belly up. Bellied Up is past tense. Bellied Up. Well, I mean, I think belly up. Come on, belly up. Belly up podcast. We are not only bellied up, but we will go belly up. Yeah, I I really like that. I like the play on words. So there. the whole first episode we called it the bellied up podcast. So now we may have just changed the name for it. That's fine. But that's all right. That's okay. People feel like they are witnessing history by listening to this podcast. Is that what they're? Yeah, that's that their what? first thought. Yep. Don't question it. As yep. they listen, they're witnessing history. Yeah, that is as they they uh, litness is what you call it. It's when you listen uh, when you, your listening is witnessing. Oh, okay. Can I get a litness? Well, I used. Oh, yeah. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Well, now you do. Now I do. Um. Yeah. So what's you, uh, going on today, Miles? You uh, you had a comedy show last night here in Fargo. Yeah, I did. Fargo Theater. What a great theater. Yeah, I mean, I actually after the show the. I heard some rumblies and grumblies. Yeah. And it was like, oh, God, that guy really stole the show. <laughs> he, I, I was amazed. And I was like, and I was like, oh, they're probably talking about, you know, Andrew. But I think that they said something about Miles. Oh, know, oh, 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 yeah. I yeah. totally forgot you yeah. were on stage last night. Um, Jeez. I don't um, know how that slipped my could mind. happen. <laughs> no, you did a great job, honestly. Uh, you know, my five minutes felt like 50, I think people were saying. Did it? Because uh, it was so full. <laughs> it was so robust. <laughs> Not because it dragged out. <laughs> <That was ridiculous. laughs> Damn it. <laughs> did, did uh, my it? five minutes felt like two. Did, Time it, flew. In all seriousness, how did it feel up there? I mean, I was working the crowd. You, you were you doing. me out there? You were doing good. How we doing, Fargo? <laughs> you did do a lot of that. You got some clapter. Uh, the one thing I was trying to stress Charlie out with is I kept telling him that I was going to get the crowd to do the wave. Yeah. yeah. It's like, Miles, you don't do that. <laughs> At first he was like, oh, yeah, that'd be funny. And then, and then I kept I, saying it. He's I like, no, he seriously, serious. don't do it. <laughs> it's like, that's a dumbass thing to yeah, do. It would have been cool. It would have been great physical humor, though. I started on one. Of, All right, we're going to do the wave, everyone. Are you ready? Just follow me. And then. I sprint across the stage as fast as I can. <laughs> they would have done it. Yeah. Now that you like say it like this, they definitely would have done. It. But I think we and came up with a good. You run to the other side and then you do the like point across the rest <laughs> of the stadium. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> we, this is a great sketch for you. We came up with a great sketch. Don't forget it. Trying to get people to do the wave. No, da every dad doing the wave. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. the old, uh, the old, the old dads with the New Balance on in the in the <laughs> audience. They get up to do the wave and they they miss it first of all, <laughs> and then when it comes back around, they're like they're in the process down. of still sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go you gotta come them we gotta go to a brewers game and we gotta do that yeah get, uh, get the great. crowd to do the wave the, the wave is a lost art i think oh it's uh, been i think it's it's there everyone people are still doing i haven't seen a wave in years i don't think you've gone to enough baseball games people get so bored at baseball games they'll do everything <laughs> they'll do the wave the yaya -ya, whatever <laughs> they dress people up in wiener costumes and make them run. Okay, that is a tradition. I know, but I mean, we, could, we how could do you think do the that. first one started? They're like, God, we're bored. Hey, it'd be funny if we hey. <laughs> put a guy in a wiener costume and made him run. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. So, but but it, it started as we're really bored, and this is like, you this know. This is brutal. Seventh yeah. inning? Jeez. The guys in the clubhouse who were playing the didgeridoo were like, wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if we put a guy in a hot dog costume? costume made him run you know and then everyone's like, I was like this is great entertainment <laughs> let's make this a tradition <laughs> <laughs> they can't say no if we call it a tradition that's right exactly um no it's you gotta come out to a game Cut. i don't uh, know how we got into that oh we were talking about the comedy show yeah get oh, getting the wave going getting the wave yeah. that's a great sketch show that's a great sketch it's super easy it's, it'll take you nine. You're all about the sketches that take you the thing nine is, seconds is to I, shoot. I did have to take a little break from doing the dad sketches because Why? I was starting to like, like think you had a child. No, like, like just taking on all the qualities. Like every time I get out of a chair, I do the big groan. <laughs> well, I'm sitting down into where 
Anne was like very concerned. She's like, okay, you can't start already being an old man. <laughs> You're only 28. <laughs> you, ca you can't start doing the groans already. Yeah. Well, you do those. For naturally. the sake of my relationship, I had to take a pause. You had to take a pause on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've had a trainer. By the way, should we talk oh. about that? Oh, uh, no. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> Mostly because it makes me start sweating just thinking about it. Oh, really? Um, yeah, basically, I, w I, again, just trying not to die at like 50 years old. Oh, it's a good plan. Trying to just... I, and I don't do any running or anything. It's just basically lifting weights. Just lift I hear that that's uh, good for you in the... Uh, in the it's a lot of people think you got to do cardio 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 but if the short spurts can be as effective yeah, as I running mean, a lot there's been three times in the last month where i'm like hey i gotta lay down i'm gonna puke you know just from lifting weights. oh really oh yeah wow you gotta realize i'm starting from negative square 10 and like just getting back to zero, you know, like <laughs> I'm not starting on square one. I'm starting on square negative 10 uh, and I have to do 10 squares before I can get to square one. So by your wedding date, are you going to be able to fit into your high school football uniform? <laughs> Absolutely not. I want to see it. I want to see First it. First of all, I got way too big of a dump truck now. <laughs> back then I was, you know, I wasn't working on the booty games back then. Yeah, I yeah, you, yeah. Hey, you got a nice one though. I tell you that yeah, right now. I saw you checking it out on stage. Last yeah, night. Right. yeah. I was like, dang. If I had an ass like that, <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, it'd be a game changer. I tried to wear my jeggings on stage, but Ann wouldn't let me last night. Oh. She said, "No, nope, leave those in the closet. Those yeah. for at those are for at home." <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, uh, so, uh, so had what, a great show. I uh, really did yeah, enjoy uh, yeah. the, the, every time you want to bring up a new subject, I'm just going to take control of the conversation. No, what were you trying to say? Um, I was just going to say that, you know, lots of laughs were had by the audience last yeah. night. What's, uh, what's always gets the biggest laugh in your set. Is it a self deprecating joke? Oh, is this it... one actually has been getting big laughs. It changes. And it, the thing with stand up is it changes based on, I think, how often you've done the joke and maybe your enthusiasm. Like every night you can make a joke really hit or not based on, um, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I, maybe this just sounds normal, but if you have the energy that the right oh, yeah. energy for a joke, it's going to hit. Yes. Last night, I think the one that hit the most is, uh, my stripper name, uh, which is Ratchet Strap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they that's slap kinda, me on the ass yeah, and that's say that's hot. not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, that's you not know? going anywhere. <laughs> I got some big laughs last night. Yeah. Um so I but every night it's different. What the what the So I'm thinking that the wave would have been a bad idea if Ratchet Strap really hit and that means a lot of dads. Yeah. Dads are not getting up for the wave. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what um what joke hit for you? The what was the biggest joke? Basically for you? anything making fun of you. That was everything you did. Yes. You, you walked um, up there. I was like, hey, can you give me a hot five? And it was just a I gave you super hot. hot five. It was a roast. Yeah. Um, no, I think the one that uh, people like the most is the husband's a target video. Obviously, mm -hmm. bananas video for us. Yeah. Um, and I, I said, like, you'd think a video that's got 70, 80 million views on the Internet that's like, you know, it's a sketch yeah. that it would be like we'd have everything buttoned up. There would be mm -hmm. uh, we would have everything like super planned and like a schedule and all that stuff. And during that shoot, you and I were on the most of the time on the phone with triple A <laughs> trying to get your keys <laughs> unlocked from the trunk. Yeah, yeah, yep. You locked your keys in your car. You know, how often does that happen for you? Uh, well. When I had that car that that like didn't have the oh it was the car it was the car that well was the it issue. was yeah. it was an older car so you know if you lock your keys you really screw the pooch there's yeah. no going there's back no app to unlock it right it's right this wasn't noise. a fancy car you know I was uh, just a popper back then you know and uh, and you know it, I do miss that Corolla my aunt has it now my aunt Mary has it now and uh, she's locked the keys well, in the car I was gonna so say how many times is she so it runs in the family runs in the family yeah I can't help these genes. I didn't know that was a hereditary thing yeah yeah, yeah 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 it is it's a recessive gene but you know a lot of us got it <laughs> skipped and, a gener it did skip yeah, a generation yeah, yeah it's how it it's how it goes but you know we we can't all luck out like you and get you know 
the, these the non locking your keys in the car gene, gene? yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's sometimes yeah you were way on time today you were early today i was late again well here's what happened i thought we said nine o'clock we did initially and then i said shoot it's daylight savings but, but the thing is he said i was on time i showed up here at like 9 20 <laughs> <laughs> so i thought i was running late and i showed up and no one was here that's the uh, best feeling in the yeah, entire yeah, world yeah <laughs> you mess up you think you're late you mess up the time and you're actually like way early and you're like then you're just cocky when everyone else <laughs> walks <laughs> and you're like huh where where, you, where have you guys been that, I've, I've been here waiting we should shoot that sketch too uh, late guy shows up early once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's like uh, uh, we have a guy in the office who notoriously shows up later in the day, um, yeah. and every time call I'm, him out. What's his I'm, name? I show up even later than him. And I'm writing down this sketch so we don't forget. By the way, uh, I'm I'm notoriously later than him, and but that's what like couple times a month where I show up before him. Uh -huh. I start giving when he walks in. I give him one of these <laughs> tap in the wrist. Uh -huh. Where you been? You're late. To have the rest. Even I'm though I'm always later. That's Gets great. a laugh about a quarter of the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good bet. Oh, man. So uh, I was going to drive this conversation further, but then I forgot. What were we even talking about before that? The wave. Oh, the wave. We're still talking about no, the wave. We're not, we just no, got to. No, we no. We're not still talking about the wave, We got We got to get into it. Uh, Dante, how are you feeling about this podcast so far? You feeling good? Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't have. He's doing great. There's <laughs> definitely a script going. <laughs> so Dante, uh, Dante and I have an eight hour ride today back to uh, back to Milwaukee. So every minute that we every roll, minute that we're droning on, on is just a minute. He's away from, from his, his bed. Yeah. And Sid, his Xbox. You know, you have an Xbox, Dante. Are you a big gamer? No, no, no. I don't have time. I have to deal with your shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Charlie true. has an Xbox, so you can't have one. No, actually, I'm I'm not a video gamer. I'm not a gamer. I I can play Duck Hunt. That's it. Maybe right. Big Buck Hunter, but sure of that nothing. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I thought you'd be like an N64 guy. Maybe, I can though. play GoldenEye. Okay, yeah. there you go. So anyway, I'm excited for another uh, episode. I've been, I had so much fun doing these. The calls, call yes. I mean, it's it's just. We got some more callers today. Yeah, we do. More Midwest advice. I mean, the belly, the belly up. Belly, I think it's bellied up. Bellied up. When you just said belly up, it just didn't that ring didn't, for me. That didn't run off the, the tongue. Belly, like. Bellied up podcast. That's it. The belly up podcast sounds not right. And you know what? It'll be kind of the thing where I screw up the name, kind of like when you're saying, I, oh, you want to come over here and play sheep head, you know, which is a fish. But if I says, you want to come over here and play sheep's head, that's the card game. But sometimes you call it sheep head, you know? So yeah, kind of like I'm, the belly I'm up. I'm always calling up my buddies saying that. So I, I do you not play sheep's head. I, I completely relate to do you, that. You don't play sheep's head. I always, I always do you play call, euchre? hey, let's do some sheep's head at my house later. I'm always calling people saying that. Yeah. Oh, you're being facetious now. No, I got really completely excited. relatable reference, Charlie. <laughs> Okay, there, there, there is a strong segment of my audience that is hardcore sheephead players, and I, they. Will, I, I'm not. I'm saying, yeah, I, that's really relatable. There's is, a lot of there's a lot of people that do that. You want? I'm gonna make a sheephead T-shirt just to show you, <laughs> so you how relatable okay, it is. Yeah, I'm sure it'll fly off the shelf. What is sheephead? Sheephead is it's like euchre but better. Jared, how do you not know? Everyone knows uh, this. Know. Yeah, no. you've never heard of sheephead? Mm -mm. Not in my life. I hate you guys. Well, uh, you're from Sorry. Wisconsin. I hate you guys. It's a good, Dante. It's a good game. It's a good game. Thank oh, you. Yeah, we're not arguing about Thank that. Thank you. And I'm Dante saying. was just giving me shit, so he's not he's not sucking up. Are we gonna say? Are we swearing on this podcast? Oh yeah. Well, My mom's mean. gonna be so mad. Sorry, mom. I said the shit word. Yeah, I uh, when I used to do that. Hey, mom. Sorry, but then it just got away from me. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we'll, I'll try and clean it up. I'm trying to clean it up. <laughs> just you know, I'm putting think, that on my list. I think for that's life, though. As you get older, you just keep slowly disappointing your parents more and more. And yeah, and, and then and they then, give and up. Then they die, and then you die, and that's the circle. Of life. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Mufasa. That was uh, that was a real inspiring speech. Life. Yeah, and then our bodies oh. turned to grass. By the way, 
<laughs> your door walking in here. There's just a jackrabbit leg just <laughs> sitting there. I don't what know. What kind of a bad I, omen is that? Well, Although that's lucky, right? A rabbit's foot. But what if you get the whole freaking thigh yeah. in there too? <laughs> Honestly, I, it's been cold enough. It might The meat still, might still be good. Oh, we should go fry it yeah. up. Have you ever had rabbit? You ever shot a rabbit? Um, I don't know if I've ever shot a rabbit. No, I uh, think I've about a getting couple. a pellet gun though for my house. There's a lot of rabbits running around. Mm, yeah. Some of them rabbits up here, you might want a twenty-two. But, but the yeah, the mm -hmm. the snowshoe rabbit actually is in my backyard. Oh, no, they got the those, giant feet. Uh, you don't want to shoot those. Those are not okay to shoot. Yeah, I I mean I'm not probably going to shoot them. No, but can you? Are they? Can uh, you I, hunt them? I, I don't. I, I feel I like think, those are on the list. I think if you just don't tell anyone, it's fine. No, I, you know me. I'm a yeah, big like, hippie. As long as you don't go on a podcast, so you're going to shoot a snowshoe. No. I, well, rather, I don't know. Gets, I don't know if uh, it depends how healthy the populations are. I feel like those are on an No, see, I, I couldn't do it anyways because Anne was, thinks they're like her pets now. Oh, it's yeah. Like, you don't like, want to oh, do that. And puts it on her like Instagram story quite often. <laughs> You Wouldn't know. be funny if the next day you had, you were just holding this rabbit that was I'm on so your I'm so sick of this rabbit. <laughs> Cause some pepper tonight. Cooking it over an open fire. <laughs> I I do. and then and then get a video of like Ann comes home from work. I'm just out there cooking the rabbit. Ann, you want some rabbit? Yeah. Just crying, I'll, tears coming <laughs> down her face. I'll tell you this though, from an environmental perspective, we gotta start eating squirrel. You know. Like that's is it, is it bad? Low carbon footprint. You know, you get squirrels and deer, squirrels, deer, and bugs. That's what we're. That's the food of the future. All these healthy populations and protein sources. That's what we're doing. Because yeah. vegans, you know, you have to send the the vegetables so far, you know, and to get protein, the carbon footprint of that, it, it, it's a lot. But if you just get the protein in your backyard, hmm. thanks for asking me about it. Anyway, uh. How many squirrels you got in your backyard? That Plenty. many that you can like live off of them? Oh, yeah. That's what you're saying here. Yeah, very healthy populations by me. Oh. So healthy, they were living in my house. They built a nest, well, and my porch, they said, was held up by a squirrel's nest, and <laughs> it was almost condemned, and I didn't realize that till after I bought it. Why didn't I like? I feel like you would have your dad come and like inspect this place. No, I had an inspector come inspect the place. Well, no, that everyone knows that a home inspector is like whatever. Your dad is the real home inspector. He's gonna come and knock on every little pillar, load bearing wall, and everything like that to make sure it's good to go. I know. The thing is, you need your dad to come and kick something and just go. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> You know, <laughs> otherwise you can't buy the house. I know. I I don't think my dad came before that. I should have called him, and I honestly think he was offended I didn't call him. That's I a know. big no no. Sorry, Dad. That's like that's Shouldn't be like, so worried about your mom on this podcast. Say sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I think he was he was kind of like, what's going on? A little you peeved. Don't, you don't need me anymore. What's going on? Uh, yeah. And now when I tell him everything's broken, he's yeah. like, well, what I say? Yeah. And life is literally just continually slowly uh upsetting your parents more and more until they die and then you die and, and that is life in his essence of life. <laughs> oh my gosh oh right, well, well we should really dark. yeah we should we should really get to this advice pod clearly we are we are well positioned to be giving advice yes. to people uh and yeah so we're gonna take some calls huh yeah let's do it i uh all right we're gonna start taking some phone callers um enjoy it and hopefully like we don't have anything too weird happen uh, i think we'll be fine i think we'll be all right we we gotta do we have a dump button we can just get them off the get call, off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we really should get that we'll get that going here. get that going no we'll time. be fine people in the midwest they're they want to call in just chit chat yeah they, they want to belly up to the bar belly up to the bar so let's do it all right let's belly up Take to the bar callers, belly on up to the bar on the belly up podcast hello who do we got on the line hi it's victoria from germany from Ger germany wow. germany wow yes Big fan over here. Uh, wow, crazy to talk to you guys. No, What's it's up? crazy to talk. What part of Germany are you in? Uh, the western part, like uh, close to Cologne. Maybe you've heard of that, but yeah, the um, fragrance. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> exactly that. 
Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. How's it going over in Germany these days? It's, I I mean, Europe, war, uh, whatever. Uh, all that is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's um, a little and the nuts. gas prices are rising like crazy, but besides that, all good. Yeah, <laughs> aside from World War Three, <laughs> we're doing fine over yeah. here. Exactly. Oh, exactly. I mean... You gotta, you gotta stay positive, right? You do. You gotta stay positive. It's a crazy world out there. What can we do for exactly. you today? Wow, this was kind of like um, I just I just decided right now to call. I didn't really think of anything, but if I had to ask one question, I mean, who who better to ask than you guys? Wow. How to be more more Midwestern? For me as a German, I mean, I'm a I'm a big Packers fan, obviously. Oh. That's, that's how I found their account. Um. But how to be more, how to live it more, you know? I think number one, you just try and be nicer. I think that no matter what, everyone can always be a little bit nicer. Uh, do things that you should never do for anyone just because they're your neighbor. Right, Charles? Like yeah. uh, fix their gutter. Yeah. Uh, what do else? they have gutters over there in Germany these days? Oh, we, we do, but I live right in the city. I live in a really small apartment. I don't know any of my neighbors yet, which I am oh. going to change. Well, that's I'm number really one. Number, nice yep. you got to start to get to know the neighbors. I think that that's step number yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, and it, <laughs> right? it, it's it's very nice. I mean, you, you walk out into your, yeah, I got an apartment building. So you're in your hallway. The next time you're thinking of just walking by someone say, hey, how are you? Or how do you say hi in Germany again? Well, we do say hi as well. Oh, you say uh, hi over there. That's cool. I got to go to Germany. I already know the language. So just say hi, yeah. you know, and give the wave. Okay. Give now, the wave and a smile. So too. you're in an apartment building. I think that a good approach could be a lot like a dorm room that we got here in the U.S. Just prop your door open. And when people walk by, you say like, hey, how's it going? Maybe just make some chit chat. Keep the door open all the time, like it's a dorm room. Yeah, you're gonna make uh, more friends. You're gonna um, also then ever, you know all your neighbors. Open door policy. And are you a drinker oh, now God. or no? Obviously, I mean German uh, beer. You're what in, can I do? It's, yeah, it's my culture really. <laughs> well, if if you can just be offering people beers, you know that's a good way to do it. Hey, do you need a drink? You know, come on in here. You're looking thirsty. You know, and then you yeah, just... but don't do it in a weird way. You know, make sure it's like, <laughs> wow. hey, like this is I'm cool. Just let's have a beer, not like. Hey, I got beer in here. You want to come into my apartment? You know, well, let's, let's be, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, the, but you got to embrace the weirdness and quirkiness of the Midwest too. Have you hit a deer recently with your car? I have not. I always, I always do watch out for deer. That, oh, well I then deer, right? that is good. But I tell you this now that's step one is to watch out for deer, but inevitably there's uh -huh. too many deer and too many car. At some point you're going to hit one. So what I want you to do um, is go to the sporting goods store and get yourself a nice buck knife. Okay. And I, uh -huh. I'd like you to keep that in your brat holder in your car, which some people call it their sunglasses holder. You just put that right in there, put that knife in there. When you hit a deer that is pre tenderized meat. And so you're not going to want it to go to waste. So you put that in the back of your automobile and yeah, or you could field dress it right there field if you're in the country, right and have a shovel that. with you so you can, <laughs> you know, bury, uh, bury the the schmutz and whatnot if you're on someone else's property. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, leave it for the coyotes. Do you have coyotes over there in Germany or no? We we do not, but oh, okay. I will keep that in mind. Because and the reason I'm saying this is you all of a sudden now have another avenue to invite friends over. Hey, I got some extra, you know, venison, venison in my freezer, pre-tenderized. Would you like some or no? And they're going to say definitely, yeah. Plus, yeah, plus no, yeah. then you also now have a new hobby. You can start making some venison jerky, smoke it up on the weekends. Exactly. And more hobbies lead to well, more friends, and that's more Midwest. All of a sudden, you're inviting friends over to smoke some meats, have a beer, all of that, and all of a sudden, you're basically living the Midwest life. Wow. Yeah. There's so many possibilities, really. So many. Uh, you guys, that's amazing advice. And get get on over to Wisconsin. If you want to study abroad <laughs> in this, you come over to Wisconsin. We'll go to a Packers game, you and I. If you didn't know, oh Charlie was God. Charlie's God. Part, uh, got a brand deal with the tourism guide in uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, so. no, Wisconsin's where you want to come. You're, she says she's a Packers that's fan. True. So you come, you know, if you want to, you know, 
uh, learn the Italian language, you go to Italy. You know, you you, you want to learn Spanish, you go wherever they speak that. You know, you want to <laughs> learn French, you go wherever they speak French. Montreal, okay? But if you want to... Oh yeah, but wow. if you want to learn wow. how to do the Midwest nice thing, you come to Wisconsin. That is true. You do need to study that course abroad. It's an immersive really yeah. program, okay. immersive program. We would love to have you. I do have some venison in my chest freezer if you're looking. I got some uh, country sausage, actually. In Should, my fr- do you? Venison country you got some sausage. country sausage in there? Yeah. That's nice. And uh, and if you want to know how to clean a deer, we can go through that, too. Um, but that might oh be that brain. might be too much for now. Maybe hit it yeah, first and then maybe, give us a let's call. Let's maybe start with hitting yeah. a deer before. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Amazing, guys. I will take you up on that offer. I, I will. Yeah, for real. please do. Like, now now you've, you've invited me. Now I will be at your, your door. Yeah, show <laughs> on up, you know. Well, we have our doors open already anyway. It's already so open. We already told you. Amazing. There's, so, there's I'll, beers I'll in the fridge. Beer. Yeah. yeah, if we're not home, just beers are in the garage fridge. Yeah, yeah. And if Amazing it's cold in guys. there, turn on the propane, okay? Mm-hmm. But make sure the garage okay. door's open for obvious reasons. Yeah, research. make sure the fan is on. Yeah. You don't want to, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Amazing, guys. Well, Thank you so, so much. It was lovely chatting to you. It was um, so great chatting to you, too. Yeah. You'll have to uh, get, give us a follow-up. Hit us up on Instagram or something. Let us know how the open-door policy is working. See if you're making friends. Okay. Yeah. I, I will. I will. All okay, right. Amazing. All right. Well, there might be some safety issues with that. We should also mention that. Yeah, but, maybe. Well, yeah, uh, you maybe, know, maybe the Midwest yeah, does it though. The Midwest, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Just yeah. please check in with us every two weeks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Okay. All right. Thanks all right, for boys. yeah. Have thanks a, for have calling a nice in. Have a day. All right. Yeah. You too. See you later. Um. All right, tell tell your family I says hi, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell your folks we says hi, too, okay? All right? You got it. You are so good. It was so close. It yeah. was so close. You are so, so – You are hey, on your way to being Midwest. Can you teach us, before you go, can you teach us how to say, tell your folks I says hi in German? Um – I um I don't think we say that a lot. Oh, you Actually, don't. Uh, like, we're not that nice here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> no one would ever like, say that, so they don't have the um, words for it. Sag sag ein liebe Grüße. Like I will lose. Sag ein der Lüse. Sag ein der Doc. 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 Like a doc. A? Doc in Is the it bay. A v no, or like a D. S A S A G. Zach. 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 Zach, exactly. Zach Allen. Zach Allen. Zach Allen. 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 Liebe Grüße. Zach Allen, liebe Gusta. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's, go. let's go. Oh, I just did it, guys. Oh, you, you, look, now. this is an advice <laughs> show, but you're giving us the this advice. This is a give and take show. Is it what is. It really yeah, is. Yeah. We give advice. We take advice. <laughs> We, to be honest, Charlie, she could have just told us to go fuck ourselves. To be <laughs> but we have no idea, but yeah. it sounded good. <laughs> no, oh, she would yeah. never do that. She would never do that. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm going right. to go out now and sleep here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll talk like, to you later then. She's like, guys, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Okay. All right. Real good. <laughs> this is another thing about the Midwest is yeah. we overstay our welcome the long quite goodbye. a bit. Yeah. It's the long goodbye. You oh. want another beer? I can grab one for you. Yeah. Come on out into the shed. I got a new snowblower I want to show you. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Didn't know where you're going with that at first. The shed's where the snowblower is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't be weird yeah, about okay, it. Right. Yeah, honest I, to I Pete. I would love to see your, your snowblower. Yeah. That, yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's a nice one. It's a 1980 Yamaha. It, the spark plugs are problematic right now, though, so I'm in the process of changing them. But if you want to come over and help me, I, I could use an extra set of hands. So great. I'll, I'll, I'm on my way right now, basically. All right. Real good. Real good. Miles will pay for your plane ticket. Just DM him <laughs> on Instagram, okay? Amazing. All right. Perfect. I'll, I'll, hit you, I'll hit you up, guys. Sounds good. Slide in there and, okay. and we'll get it t- the payment taken care of. Okie dokes. All right. Amazing. Real good. All right. See ya. All right. Tell your folks I says hi. Bye bye. Bye. Guys, the Bellied Up podcast is presented by Fleet Farm. Now, for me personally, Fleet Farm 
is one of my favorite places to go. I grew up with a flea farm just down the road. Me and my dad would go there. We would hang out. We would basically just get out of the house and uh, go to the man's mall is what we like to do. And I still like to do that today. Fleet Farm has got everything you need, snacks, tools, fishing gear, hunting gear, uh, yard work stuff, mowers, everything. They got everything. That's why it's called the Man's Mall. Not only um, do I love going there for all those needs, but they also got Charlie and I's merch in all their stores, too. Another reason to love going to the Fleet Farm. It's all about the Man's Mall. So... Look for the orange, the the Fleet Farm logo on the side of the interstate is where I usually see it driving through. Um, stop on in, check out the Man's Mall, and I uh, promise you won't be disappointed. So, again, they're the presenting sponsor of this podcast, and um, we're really, really excited about that. Go to Fleet Farm. Have a good time. Hello, caller. Who do we got? Uh, you got Bailey and Caden. Here from uh, Indiana. Bailey and Kim, what part of Indiana? Oh, you know, the best part, northeast. You North- got the Amish. Northeast. Oh, you, you got, got the, the Amish, Amish there. Okay. Yeah. We got a lot of Amish people. So, I don't know if you guys have this problem. But see, <laughs> when we're driving around, the, the Amish are, they're great people. You know, they really oh, yeah. are. Good, oh, good, boy. Good. I, I already know where no, this is they're, going. They're, they're, good, they're, they're good, good guys. They're, they're good, good they're guys. Great they're folks. very good. Great they're folks. Very good. Great with woodworking. Well, we great with weaving. They got a, a bunch of amazing skill sets. Cooking, the whole oh, deal. Oh, so many. Yeah. So many. Cooking is a, is a, their strongest. I well, say. and honestly, you know, the whole world could take a page out of their book in the fashion world as well. Mm. That's true. Oh, Wear the same absolutely. thing every day. I, Nice hats. And the haircuts, the haircuts of the men. I mean, you don't have to have a bad hair day at all because, uh, anyways, that's beside the point. Uh, <laughs> anyways, no, in all seriousness, okay. When you're driving, yeah, you know, you try and avoid those nasty road apples. Road and, apples. Uh, by road apples, I mean droppings from the horses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got some yeah. road apples. So, they don't look but, like apples, but, but at one point see, they were see, apples. His, his, the deal is with all of that is um, they, they get stuck and, and there's kind of a stink to it and stuff. Yeah. But but I'm sure it, it's similar to getting mud and stuff on your, on your car tires, truck tires, what have you. Yeah. So I was just curious, how do you guys clean – your oh my! I'm watching a game right now, and my team scored. That was awesome. What's your team? Uh, anyways, What's your team? Manchester United. I oh. know it's kind of out of context. Oh, but, yeah. hey. uh, football, football. That America. was amazing. Oh, no. Wow. Anyways, look that up later. Anyways, how do you guys get mud and stuff off your tires, and and the best way possible? Well, like let me, just the most efficient way. While you're driving, too. Let you let know? me let me start here. Um, I don't necessarily have to deal with what do you call them? Road apples. As much yeah. up here in North Dakota, but what I do have to deal with is potholes. Yeah. Okay. I am yeah. I am swerving and dodging potholes left and right, um, as I imagine you are with the road apples. So one, oh, tough on 100%. your car, tough on your car to be swerving, cranking that wheel, trying to avoid the road apples. I get it all the time with the potholes. Now, yeah. um, in terms of the stench on the wheel, I mean, is that just part of living in Indiana that you just got to accept? Is it just going to smell not too good? You know, most of the time, yeah. I've gotten people visit from out of out of the area, and they, you know, I'm not in town, but they'll say as soon as they get out of the car, they say, what is that smell? Well, and what, I've become no blind to yeah, it. Yeah, well, so. no, what you should do is just go, well, I didn't fart. Did you fart? Maybe just blame it, the smell on them that they're mm-hmm. trying to, the outside smell is they just ripped ass and it's on them. And then it's not on Indiana. I like that quite a bit. It's not a bad um, way to go. I don't know why I never thought about blaming them. Yeah. Yeah. Or do it so. just, just every time you get out of the car with someone who's not from around there, just go, oh, did you fart, man? Just every time you get out and then you don't have to worry about it. It's a good Blame way to do it. Blame it on the dog. 
That could work too. Yes. Blame it on the dog. And I will say this also. Um, I don't think I've ever uh gotten a car wash because uh because I've only done it as a for a joke at one point if we were doing a bit or something. So I I just think the You've more never gotten a car wash ever. No, I mean what? like once in a while, but it was like for like my dad a request. I I'm not a big car washer. I usually like God no, wash I'm, the car. You know, that's when it rains. You go out for a drive in the rain. I mean, that's about all you need. Really. <laughs> yeah. Now, but th- this idea it also your car smells. Okay, but oh, you're not driving your car into the bar. You know what I mean? It's a very <laughs> small true. amount of time. You just if they don't believe that they're they just pass gas, try blaming on them. Take Miles' advice first. But if they double down on it and say no, it's your car. Say well, what do you expect? You know, I mean, this is, it, it's, it's, it's a utilitarian vehicle. You know, it got you, would you yeah. say, was it warm inside the car? Do what my dad did every time we complained about something. Was your bed warm tonight? Huh? <laughs> was your bed yeah. warm? Did you have a roof over your head? Did it rain on you? So, no. Hey, there's some yeah. bad stuff going on in Europe and all of that, say, and you're complaining about the smell coming off the car when people's houses are really oh, literally yeah. getting bombed right now. That's a great oh, way. Look. Spin it on them. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's some, wow. Yeah, and insight, you, you guys have some real good wisdom and insight. I yeah. appreciate your advice. Yeah, do uh, um, do one of these. Oh, you think the smell is bad? Well, try having cancer and then tell me if this is bad. Do one of those. Yeah. I. <laughs> Well, that's, yeah, a that's a way. Good idea. Yeah. That's a way. I mean, that could be. <laughs> that's a conversation as long as starter. Know well enough to know. You yeah, know, well, I mean, like make sure they don't they have, cancer. have cancer to start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Right. You know, so, maybe just don't take that advice bit. at all. Actually, that that's that was a, a misfire. <laughs> what? I mean, that's decent. No, I guess it's fine. It's putting it in perspective. Now, perspective is what we're trying to say. Yeah. Put yeah. things in perspective that's, for. Or them. you know that's what you can do? You can you can make another. You know, all them horses or a lot of them have a little. Uh, a dingleberry catcher underneath their uh, buttocks of the horse. You, why don't you make some of them and sell them to the Amish or do a trade with no, them? I could. I could. The problem is, yeah. I don't know if they really want to be cleaning up the because they don't have to do any maintenance on on that really. Okay, here already. we go. They don't, they don't yeah. clean anything up, so it's like do you if have, they really want to. Be, yeah. Do you I, have yeah. Do you have any young cousins or young nieces and nephews? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So what you do is you bit, you tell them you go out on the highway and you scoop up those those <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. Yeah. and and move them off the road and for every single one you scoop off the road you'll give them a quarter. Tell them that. And then when they get hit by a car, you'll just have to pay for their medical bills. That's perfect advice. But your yeah. car doesn't smell like well, shit. I, here's what I'll tell them: if they get hit by a car, I'm. I'm busy. I got to move out of town. Uh, <laughs> work, you know, solid. Another, another <laughs> solid advice given here. He's washing that. his hands of this. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not the one that was on the road. Oh, That's my hey, thing. all you got to so, do to the to the young niece and nephew or cousin is just go. Hey, there's eight uh road apples out there. I need you to move off the road. I'll, I'll, I'll time you. Mm. Yeah, time them. Time oh, them. The timing. Yes. Yeah. And that's free. Yeah, and then uh, and yeah. then I think your problem's solved. You don't got to worry about the smell or that. Plus, you're like, wow, you're such a good uncle or uh, you're such a good cousin. You're doing activities with them. You know. Yeah. It's that's a win-win. A, that's a good point. Well, and that's what I'm going for, really. Well, thank you so. for calling in, and we want you to keep her moving and watch out for road apples. Okie dokes. Oh. Oh, you betcha. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to hang up the phone now. That's, that's awful. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you did good. You All really right. did. Cheers, guys. Watch out for those apples. Hey, will do. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Bye-bye Cheers. now. Tell your folks I says hi. Tell your folks I says hi. Okie dokes. Real good. All right. Okay. See you later now. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you there. Hello, caller. Who do we got? Uh, my name is Nick. Nick. Nick, where are you from, Nick? Um, I'm from Mankato, Minnesota. Oh, Mankato. Nice. Not too far from where yeah. we're at. We're doing this in Fargo, North Dakota right now. So you're just down the road a ways. Yeah, I love that. You guys got to go to like a UND hockey game or something up there. 
Okay. Oh, we should do that. I've been to a UND hockey game before, so yeah, it's a good time, Charlie. Well, Maybe sometime we'll have to do it. We should do that. Thank you for the advice, yeah, Nick. Thanks, but you Nick. know what, Nick? Yes. You're not here to give us advice. We are here to give you advice. What's on your mind? Um, I don't know. It's just a lazy Saturday. Oh, yeah. so maybe how to spend a lazy Saturday? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, what are you currently doing? Let's start with that. It, I, before you tell me, it sounds like you're still laying in bed at <laughs> one, one, you're one exactly twenty correct. p.m. You're still in bed. What you do last night? Oh, I had, just had some good times, you know. No, like tell that. us about the good times. Tell yeah, us about those good beers, times, yeah. Nick. What, what, what you do? Happened? What times you go to bed? <laughs> um, I I would say it was after two a.m. for sure. After two a.m. for sure. That sounds like he blacked out. Is what that sounds like. Uh, I was after two. Nah. No, you remember? Okay, so what'd you do? Did you go yep. to the bar? Did you hang out by yourself? Did you watch Netflix? We, what'd you do? Um, a bunch of people like so. I actually live in Idaho. And a bunch of people who I work with, a bunch of coworkers, we all got together. Okay. Mm. Well, now yep. talk to me about this because coworker going out with coworkers. It's a fine art. Well, yeah, it could be a disaster or it could be a very, very fun time. Uh, and personalities really come out. What What was last night? Was it a little awkward or were people having a good time? No, it was uh, nothing but good times. Okay. Um, just. Everybody knows how to get together and have a good time and uh, drink responsibly and all these things. Oh, okay. oh that's good. What do it you sounds, do? That sounds like HR like told you to tell us that. <laughs> yeah, like, are you reading off no. a, a sheet right now? Yeah, yeah. Handbook. The, yeah. yeah. Uh, on the other side of the line is the HR guy got a gun to your head yeah, and telling you what to read. On? What's happening? <laughs> no. No, just just we just like to naturally get together. Hey, well, he, uh, he works in HR. He is the <laughs> HR rep. <laughs> uh, we party with HR all the time. Okay, you know? all right. What uh, what line of work are you in? Uh, a ski resort. Ski resort. In oh, oh, okay. Well, uh, well that's you, why you're having fun. Do you would you I consider mean, yourself yeah. what they call a ski bum, or is that a derogatory term for? Uh, oh no, that is. You are exactly correct. I I would love to be that, and uh, well, yeah, that's what I end up doing a lot. So, you, what do you do at the ski hill? Um, I am a lift operator. Oh, that's sweet. That's yeah. I mean, that's like being a uh, like a toll bridge operator, but way, way, way cooler. Yeah, way, way cooler. cooler. We get to go shred during work. Get to go ride it up a little bit. So, what's the weirdest thing you've seen happen on your ski lift? While you've been operating it, mm, I don't know. Like I, I'm just there trying to prevent weird things. That's your job, um, right? Know, what are you still working yeah. for but, HR? What's going yeah, on? Give us but, some juice. But huh? you're only one man, okay? You can't stop everything from happening. What's going on yeah. on that lift? I don't know. Just like we have really good energy, and people will just start just start hugging like as customers what kind of a ski like, hill do you live on <laughs> work on what is, is this? that code for something else or yeah. what like, what are you trying no, to tell is there us? fornication going on like, on I'm your like, ski <laughs> slopes i'm just saying what's up you know just kind of the cool lifty but i got other lifties who just love to just start hugging our customers well that's I think cool. it's hilarious i, I but, having um, your name of your job be a lifty sounds sweet yeah i'm jealous of that yeah, name we, we do have a good time. No. So, time out. Let's not just let's not just run past him saying people are just randomly hugging. Yeah, I, I'm confused. That about is, this. I'm so thrown. Okay. So, yeah. what do you, what who's do you mean? hugging who? Yeah. They're like trying to get on the lift. They're like walking up to right where you sit on the chair. Yeah. And we're we're like vibing. We're shaking hands. We're saying what's up, giving nuts. And <laughs> giving then sometimes nuts? it's just such a good vibe. People it's just are hugging. The, but but you have a very tight window to, yeah. to get on this ski lift. Yeah. This, How slow is yeah. this ski lift Is this moving? one of them ski lifts that stops every no, second for a hug moving. break? <laughs> yep. And that's what that's what concerns me. I think it's weird. It's like it's a tight window, like you said. So here's the question. Couple of questions. I got a I lot got to a unpack lot of here. Questions. Yeah. So yeah. one, Wait, is this why the ski see. lines are so long? Is because you're hugging every person that comes through? Dabbing it up. No, <laughs> no, I don't know. We we don't have terrible ski lines here in Idaho. It's not too bad. 
Okay, so well, not we too bad. Time to talk and all these things. Secondly, has anyone ever missed the the thing coming around to pick them up, uh, the actual lift because you were in mid hug? Um, I I would I'm also trying to prevent that. Yeah, like, but. I, I don't want to see it happen. Well, like, <laughs> that was a very political <laughs> political answer there. Yeah, I think a new policy should be maybe <laughs> keep the hugs for after the ski session is over. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I completely agree. Like I like knock, you know, we're always Yeah, a little knock is well, good. Are I, people I, smoking doobies yeah. on these ski lifts? <laughs> is that I why see everyone's that. hugging? That. It's that's pretty illegal. That but, is illegal <laughs> in is, is that it illegal state. in Idaho? Is it? Yes. So there's no marijuana Uh, going on on your ski hill. You can vouch for that? I can vouch for that. Wow. Okay. Oh, he's winking at us. (laughs) Yeah. Charlie, I really liked your video when you were on on the ski lift, the chatty uh, chairlift guy. Chatty chairlift guy. Actually, in that video, you would have been someone handing out hugs trying to get on. I would have been, well, I would have said, you know, is it okay if I give you a hug here, fella, or no? Hug consent is important. Yeah. (laughs) You got to ask if they want a hug. The Minnesota nice. Yeah, be the Midwest nice you got to do the Midwest like, nice, but you got to ask if they want to hug first. Some people are not huggers, and I would yeah. not violate their airspace like that. You know, I'm not going to go buzz the tower in case they, they don't want that. So I always ask, do you Absolutely. want a hug or no? Well, Charlie, maybe we should yeah. give him a few things that he could take back to the hill that would be a good alternative to a hug that could keep the line, mo- keep her moving. Keep her moving. Yeah. What, yeah. You, what you can say is uh, getting any walleye these days or no. And then as they are telling you, you know, you get the advice as they're already up the ski lift. But yeah. by then you're already saying, you know, tell your folks, I says hi to the next guy, you know, or gal or well, whatever. Yeah. You know, you've been doing a lot of fist bumping, which makes sense to me. Nux. But a no, a, he calls a, it nux. nux. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Some nux pound it. Um, but a, a yep, no yep. contact move, you might want to do the just give them a salute. Try try the salute the once salute. in a while. You know, just give I them like a, that a lot. Like a hey chief, see you later. Like they're getting on Air Force One. What yeah. do you mean? Yeah, I mean whatever, whatever you're feeling. You ever watch yeah. Top Gun? They do the 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 salute and then the thumbs up. Yeah, I mean it's you give them one okay. of those. You could you could do that. Yeah, that could make it go quicker. You what know? else? What other ways can we make keep the lines moving on the slopes? We'll Maybe just up. you know do nothing. You know, and uh, here's here's uh, one more question on that. You know, when mm-hmm. you go up, do you have to pull the thing over you, the protective guard? <laughs> no, that's up to that's up to everybody's it's personal, personal preference. It's not like a seatbelt. Yeah. It's just that doesn't know. make me feel no. cool. I thought I was being the bad boy of the lift, not putting it down yeah, in front of like, me. I don't need this. It's only yeah. 300 feet down. You know, I, <laughs> I've seen them do it on the X games. I can just hit the slopes. Yeah. Well, this was a really well, like enlightening you. conversation. I'm glad we caught you still in bed. You know? <laughs> yes. I was glad I saw it and I really wanted to shoot a call and you guys are like hilarious and awesome. You're awesome. Nux to you. Okay. Virtual. And and, and I do consent. If I'm ever on your left, I would, I would give you a hug. So just so you know. (laughs) Yes. I look forward to it. Uh, yeah. I'll stick with the Nux, but, um, (laughs) but it it was so nice having you on honest to Pete. For safety reasons. Safety reasons. Safety reasons only. Yeah. If we're not on a ski lift, I'll hug you all day long. I'm a risk taker though. I'll go for it. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Well, uh, thanks for calling in. I think your next step is just maybe get out of bed and eat some food or something. Maybe get some coffee in you. You sound a little groggy. Yeah. You need a little caffeine in your life. Watch out for Yetis, okay? Some, yes, I will. And you guys have given me some great energy for the day. So right, I really that's what we're it. here for. We appreciate you. All right. Yeah. Our, our favorite lifty here on the podcast. Thanks for uh, calling in, man. Have a good Saturday. Thank you, guys. You guys as well. Real See good. Ya. Bye-bye. Well, folks, that was an absolutely uh, another amazing episode of the Belly Up Podcast. and Bellied Up Podcast. Bellied Up Podcast. Yes. If anyone wants to play Sheephead with me later, just give me a holler. I feel like, yeah. I mean, I hear that, and I just think maybe that means something else. Belly Up? No. I like if I... <laughs> sheephead. Sheephead. Yeah. What do you think it means? What was a sheep's head and sheep head? So sheep, a sheep head is a fish. A sheep's head is a card game. Gotcha. But in the same way you say belly up, bellied up, you know what we're talking about, even if you don't. Yeah, that is true. 
Um, so you're headed back to Wisconsin. Heading now? back to Wisconsin. Yep. Me and Dante have eight hours to get yeah, to know what, each what, other. Uh, what landmarks are you looking? You're looking to uh, maybe stop and take a photo in. Oh, from, I along think the way. there'll be a nice field somewhere. You know, you guys got the uh, where they filmed the first moon landing yeah. close by. So, <laughs> so <laughs> when we when we went to go pick up this bar top, uh, we I drove Charlie out in the middle of nowhere. Because it was gosh. a farmstead that we went and picked it up on. We we drove and, to the moon. And Charlie, there's snow everywhere. And he looks at me, he's like, are we on the moon right now? <laughs> Seriously. And then we looked yeah. out, and either way, it was just, like, white. But it kind of looked like there was, like, waves of craters yeah. and shit. And you're like, you know, honestly, it does kind of look like we're on the moon. Yeah, it did. It did like that. That's where, you know, Neil Armstrong did his deal. <laughs> yeah. One small step for man, one giant leap for your Yeah, mankind. hey, they didn't land on the moon, and they didn't shoot in a studio. They just shot it in the winter <laughs> in North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they filmed it. Oh, no, seriously. I mean, uh, you were like, let's get a, the lay of the land here. I was like, uh, all the land is doing right now yeah. is laying. That is, <laughs> that is the deal up here. Oh. Yeah, it's nice, though. I really enjoyed my time. The uh, well, sh- one, one landmark you could stop at, I think, uh, Vergas, Minnesota. It's got the uh, world's largest loon sculpture. Oh, I've yeah. been wanting to check and that out. I think Pelican Rapids, Minnesota, has the world's largest pelican sculpture. Really? Ooh. And then I think uh, where Tyler's from, uh, Frazee, Minnesota, I think yeah. has the world's largest turkey sculpture. No kidding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you could wow. just hit all the world's largest also, sculptures. Also, yeah, the, the biggest Paul Bunyan is in Brainerd. Well, which is, is not true? on the way, it's or a, it's kind of a hot debate. I think I, I, there's uh what is it? Nevis or something? And Minnesota? Then Bemidji has one too. They got yeah. a bigger one. Something there's like there's multiple cities in Minnesota with a giant Paul Bunyan I, statue. But I think Brainerd is uh that's a, that's the one where he's on his knee and he's holding you in the palm of his hand. You yeah, know? that like, might be bigger than the one I'm thinking of. Oh, uh, are we googling it now? Yeah, we might as uh, well Google it. Might as well. I hate the Google, dude. I just want to be right. I don't want to be proven wrong. Um. Yeah, I mean, look how many different statues there are. We should do a tour, you and me. We should do a podcast at each Paul Bunyan statue. <laughs> we should do that. That would, if we did that it all, crush. if we did it one a day, it would take us three months to get it done. That's how many Paul Bunyan statues there are. We should do it. We should go on a Paul Bunyan statue tour. I think there is a Paul Bunyan land. Somewhere it's like a amusement park. Right? We should go to Paul Bunyan uh, Land. That would be amazing. Live from Paul Bunyan Land. Can we Google Paul Bunyan Land? I'm already over which one's the biggest. That Paul guy's got to have a giant. <laughs> who foot. who do you think owns the rights to Paul Bunyan? And is any or is it just? It's you, open source at this point. Yeah, you know that for a fact. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. just yeah. don't Google you it, looked please. Into it. <laughs> yeah. What is the Wisconsin equivalent to Paul Bunyan? Do you have one? We have Paul Bunyan, dude. We got several Paul Bunyans. Eagle River's got a Paul Bunyan. Wisconsin Dell's well, you, got a Paul Bunyan. But you're kind of just like stealing Minnesota's thing. Okay. Everyone knows that the Paul Bunyan is like a Minnesota thing. Uh, no, several states claim Paul Bunyan is their own. Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, Maine even claims Paul Bunyan is That's, their own. But I, it, I wrote, but it's, there's but a it's section. Like definitely a Minnesota you thing. You know what? It, it, if you just read my book, The Midwest Survival Guide, you would know there's an entire section on Paul Bunyan. Oh, yeah, I totally read that. Yeah. Is it? Do you even have it? I no, sent you a copy. It's actually in the bathroom, like if we have guests. Yeah. It is like the bathroom book. It's oh, like okay. sitting there like people can read it when they're on the toilet. Have you ever opened it? Or they can rip out a page and use it if they're out of toilet paper. I have a few pages to recommend for that. Okay. <laughs> um, Paul Bunyan section. <laughs> it's just lies. It sounds like it's just lies. Uh, no. Paul Bunyan is a Minnesota thing. How it's not much, an entire Midwest thing. How much thing. of my New York Times bestselling book have you read? I did open up, and you did write me a note. That's what I read. <laughs> but I know for a fact it wasn't a personal note. It was just like one you write to everyone you sent to. No, that's not true. I personalized it for you. I made it about a thing that we did. I'll have to reread it. Reread <laughs> it. In there. I didn't just send you a generic note. Now, here's the thing. That's a thick book, man. Oh, it's very thick. You should have made it. You should have. Here's thick. what you should have done. If you would have consulted me, oh, if you would have been smart and consulted me, yeah. I would have told you, well, one, 
You'd sell the same amount of books by doing a third of the size. Hold on. <sighs> sell the same amount of books the first time around. Mm-hmm. Then you do part two and part three. I so it's, know. It's all the Trust same me, content. I know. And I then, had this conversation. And then you sell three times as many books. <laughs> Don't, and don't act like people you're the would actually, guy in the room. And do you think people would actually read a book that's much smaller? So you make it more like a comic book than like a dictionary, you know? I want to cry. <laughs> do you know how much time I spent on this thing? Do you know how much I thought about that while I was like, did we really commit to this many pages? Never write a book. Never do it. Although I'm happy it's done. I think it looks great. Did I mention it's a New York Times bestseller? You can get it on charliebarons.com. Ooh. Yeah, I'll let you plug that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank go you. Ahead. I'll let you plug that. Appreciate that. Do you want to plug anything <laughs> how, before we go? How, how is our outro it, longer how, than our intro? How would it be great? <laughs> wouldn't it be great if I like came out with a book and did a three part three parter just because of this conversation? You should do it. I'm gonna you write a book now. You should sell really three do it. times as many books. Uh, I want to do a kid's book. Just like dude daddy. Well, not like dude daddy, dude dad. Dude, dad. Dude, daddy is dude after daddy hours girl. content. Oh, dude, daddy's that funny. That is not suitable for children. No. The dude, daddy content. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, well I, I think suppose. we're going to leave all of you with more yeah. uh, questions than we did answers today. And that's just how, how the cookie crumbles. Paul Bunyan, Minnesota. End of story. Wisconsin. Keep her moving. No. You, you can't just throw Watch in out one. for deer. Tell you, your folks you I said, hi, if you want those shirts, you can go to manduakman.com. <laughs> you, you can't. <laughs> I slid it in, and we don't edit this podcast. You can't, you can't just da, 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 da. throw in one of your catchphrases after everything you say. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can, and I am. I'm all right, well, I think I'm going to head back to Wisconsin. Keep her moving. Keep her moving. All the merch is made in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go get some more coffee. Cripes all Friday. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Great t-shirt. Oh my gosh. Well, you got that one too. For sale, man, do I comment dot com. All yeah, let's get merch your, is made let, in the let's USA. Get some, let's move some merch for you. I'm, I'm excited to do that. My mom's going to be super happy. She's, she always says, look at what Miles did You said it's made in the U.S. Is she the one fashioning all the shirts together or what? <laughs> Is that why she's going to be happy? Or? She would. She's got skills. Charlie, you got to give me something to do. I'm getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> she's downstairs with the sewing machine. <laughs> her, her fingers got Band-Aids on every finger. <laughs> Just bloody. <laughs> Oh man, my fingers hurt. <laughs> yeah, well, now your back's gonna hurt because you just pulled landscaping duty. Jeez, oh, my mom is not gonna like your impression of her voice. No, I'm. That was that was really me to me. On that was it was very uh scre- too screechy. Oh, it my. was too you know. Yeah, yeah, it was too it was too grand. How how does your mom? How does she talk? Yeah, Charlie, did you see Miles today? Do you see the video he made where he integrated the merch? <laughs> Isn't that a good idea? Don't you think you could write something like that? I think you have it in you. We're not moving enough shirts. She's like Joe Jackson. She's calling me button nose and everything. <laughs> you know? Uh, I apologize to Mrs. Barons for making her sound much more screechy than than necessary. Yeah, she'll appreciate that. Yeah. It's not it's not whether you fall, it's whether you get back up and apologize. Very midwest yeah. of you. And I went from constantly disappointing my own parents until they die and then I die to now I'm disappointing Charlie's parents yeah. until they die and we die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll get over it. Death wish coffee. Boo, boo, boo. Disappoint your parents? Jeez. They're going to die, then you're going to die. Death wish coffee. And you're going to die from not having a colon because we knocked it out. <laughs> 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 All right, we got to end this right. guy. All right, uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Make sure you follow the Bellied Up podcast on all social media platforms, which we do not know yet because we'll have some clips going on there. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Some good clips. Good right. clips. Keep her moving. All right, guys, thanks Tell for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.